Okay guys, today I'm going to be looking at a video game because to most people a game called Apex, which I love, is taking over it. The game, as you can tell by the title, is Fortnite. This game might be hated a lot, including by me in their latest seasons, but it was popular and successful. The game made at least 15 million dollars last year for Epic Games was nominated for many awards and won many like Weebies Best Multiplayer Game of 2018, Game Critic Awards for Best Going On Game of 2018, Team Choice Awards, Choice Game of the Year 2018, Golden Joysticks Best Competitive Game and Ultimate Game of the Year 2018, The Game Awards Best Multiplayer Game and Ongoing Game of 2018, uh, won most of Gamers Choice Awards fans favourite awards of 2018, Australians Games Awards Multiplayer Game of the Year 2018 and DICE's Online Game of the Year 2019. So you must be wondering, what about this game I am going to be talking about? It is going to be, it is going to be the development and how it grown to be as big as it was in August 2018. So here we go. So we're in December 2011. By how well Epic and Microsoft's Gear of War 3 was, Epic announced a new game called Fortnite at Spike Video Game Awards with the following teaser trailer. Hey, put the camera down, man. It's showtime. All right, clear! Hey, we got some good stuff, man! Hurry up and help me get the ball, man! Backstage at the, uh, the awards, Belensky's Epic Runner said it was a project that was pitched internally several months ago that came together lightning fast in something that seems like a no brainer to build. He also explained that Fortnite would be different to other shooters. In the year 2012, Chinese company Tencent, Tencent wants to help and focus on Epic's free to play games. Beleski also left Epic Kid this year and Ferguson took over to run the Gears of War next gen reboot. 2013 was a big year for Epic and Fly's Gear of War reboot and it did really well while Fortnite was under development with no news. In 2014 Epic finally announced what Fortnite Save the World was all about and also shown some promising gameplay which you can see right now. The years 2015 and 2016 were very quiet after the big news about Fortnite in 2015. Mac compatibility was revealed in 2015. In 2016, the game went from alpha to beta. In mid-2017, Fortnite started big. Epic began offering Fortnite founder packs for Save the World which gave players early access. All these players were enjoying the game. In July, Fortnite officially released offering the packs we all see when we go and buy the game. Um, this is all, uh, if you don't know what the packs are, they're currently showing on the screen. The game was available on PC, Mac, Xbox and PS4. In September, Epic revealed the famous Battle Royale mode, inspired by PUBG. This was originally a mode in Save the World. But eventually, in the month, became the free-to-play separate game mode. Only payments you had to make was to get cosmetics like skins, 
backpacks, gliders, pickaxes, emotes, many more. This was also released on the same platforms. In January 2018, Epic made a map update called 2.2.0 and made the popular map be all recognised in Fortnite now. The map is the one you can see right now. In March, uh, Fortnite's Battle Royale released on Apple phones. This is also where Epic started looking into making their game cross-platform. Drake also played on a stream with a streamer Ninja. This made the game blow up even more. In May, Battle Royale had a limited time mode promoting Infinity War with the Gauntlet and Thanos in it, creating many, many memes. In June, Fortnite came out on Switch, also announcing crossplay with all platforms but PlayStation 4. By July, this was where Fortnite became too popular and started getting hit because it was making kids more cancerous apparently. But parents used to realise that kids will always be this way when they are starting to grow up. By August, the game finally came to Android, also a PS4 gaming and everyone could play with each other. By August, Fortnite was very popular and this is the case until now. Not much controversial news happened with Fortnite since then. Um, the only recent news is um, uh, about them releasing a free battle pass I think it is. I don't really play the game anymore. It's, um, I think it's if you do all these challenges at the minute you get the next battle pass for free. Um, they seem to be doing the same thing that they usually do on Fortnite. Uh, to me the game is a bit more laggy when I do go on it. But when a big games like that, I don't really blame them for having some lag at least. Um, yeah, not much controversial news since then. As well, again, uh, if you if people if you're thinking about commenting stuff about streamers and all that type of stuff, I know all the stuff with Ninja. Personally, I don't really like Ninja. Uh, but if you like Ninja, I'm not really bothered. I know all the stuff what happened since August and all the controversial stuff with him like stupid um, New York New Year's thing I don't really care because has nothing to do with main Fortnite that is just a guy that represents Fortnite it's nothing to do with the actual game so yeah that was the history I guess of Fortnite so thanks for watching guys Hold up.